Prepper Basics, Mobile Base Communications for SHTF. We're going to be talking about the Yezu FT2900R. This is Throttle Up Prepper. <laughs> Prepper Basics, Mobile Base Communications for SHTF, talking about the Yezu FT2900R ham radio. It is a two meter radio. I am your humble host, Jeff. Excited to have you here. Uh, be sure to stop by uh, the website, throttleupprepper.com, and check out our blog. Subscribe to that. Uh, check out some other stuff that's going on. You can pick up a copy of uh, either one of my books that are available on Amazon.com. And that is that. So, talking about mobile communications. Uh, I had a video earlier in uh, the series here talking about uh, emergency communications uh, considerations. That's hard to say. Uh, then again, most things are hard for me to say. But I wanted to talk to you about the big guns for SHTF. Listen, two meter uh, radio seems to be for me uh, what's going to work best for me and for my group and uh, for my family. Maybe uh, for you too. Investigate it. Look into it. It costs like $10 to get a license uh, through the FCC for a technician class for 10 years. Maybe it was $15. Something like that. It's ridiculously cheap. Uh, and it cost me uh, $20 to download the book and study. I highly recommend it. For you, those of you tinfoil hat guys that are worried about the government uh, being able to track you, well, if you're not blind like me, you probably have a driver's license with your address on it in the government. No, uh-oh. Do you have a bank account? Ah, oh, crap. Listen, if you watch CBS is Hunted at all, <laughs> <laughs> You're not getting away anyway. So in my book, what's one more thing? Uh, and ham radio is not something you're going to want to be trying to figure out on the fly once uh, you find yourself in a crap hitting the fan situation. So enough of that. Let's talk about this radio. I, I have the handheld Baofeng BFF8HP, uh, 8 watt handheld, uh, handy talkie they call it. Uh, I've got an MFJ uh, mobile antenna. Uh, for when I'm traveling in, in the car with, with my family. Uh, keep it on the 511 Tactical backpack when we're hiking. Uh, great for what it is, line of sight, not too shabby. But I wanted something a little bit better because my group is spread out over a pretty good geographical area and I need to make sure that we can communicate. So uh, on the outside, and we'll show you um, Right now, as I'm talking, uh, my setup, I have a Diamond uh, X50, uh, 2 meter and 440 uh, antenna. Uh, the antenna itself is about 5.5 feet. I have it on top of a uh, you know, 10 or 12 foot conduit uh, pipe attached to my chimney. Got about 100 feet, uh, give or take, of uh, some serious coaxial cable, along with uh, lightning suppression and an 8 foot lightning rod uh, that went. Uh, surprisingly easy <laughs> into the ground. Just hammered it in about six feet deep. Uh, so that's kind of the setup on the outside. Now uh, we're back here. Uh, this little unit on uh, Amazon, uh, let's eavesdrop a little bit, crystal clear. So um, well, we won't uh, eavesdrop on them too much. We'll just kind of leave that on in the background for uh, whatever, <laughs> for ambiance. Uh, this is two meter radio, you know, you have access to all uh, of the, the two meter band. And that um, antenna is about 35 feet off the ground, uh, we measured. So with two meter band, it's line of sight, but, you know, height is your friend and power is your friend. This radio has four uh, settings, yeah, 5 watts, 10 watts, 30 watts, and 75 watts. I have yet to need the 75 or the 30. Uh, 5 watts or 10 watts pretty much gets me anywhere I need to get them. Uh, and typically I use a, uh, a repeater that's located uh, about 40 to 50 nautical miles from where I'm at now. And 5 watts gets me there, a little garbled, uh, a little uh, staticky uh, from what I'm told. 
Uh, so normally 10 watts will easily get me 40 to 50 nautical miles. And then once hooked into that repeater, I'm in Western North Carolina. I'm talking with people all over North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, Tennessee. It's amazing. Uh, Plus, it helps that I'm sitting at about 1,100 feet above uh, sea level. Uh, so again, height is your friend. Uh, maybe where you are, that'll work, maybe not. But <clears throat> this radio is simple uh, to use once you have your 13-year-old uh, hook it up. Um, but seriously, if you go to Amazon, this, this is about $189 radio. Uh, in the grand scheme of things, pretty economical. Um, for, for what it is. It, it's mobile. You can hook it up uh, in your vehicle uh, to an external antenna like the MFJ that I use. Uh, but if you're going to use it as a base unit like I have it set up, then you're going to need an external power supply. Amazon doesn't tell you that. Luckily, I did a little research and talked with the guys in Atlanta at the Ham Radio Outlet. Um, I think it's hamradio.com. Don't quote me on that. Just Google Ham Radio Outlet in Atlanta. And those guys are awesome. The radio was $149 through them. $40 cheaper than Amazon. They do a lot of volume sales and they know their stuff. Uh, they're the ones that broke it to me that uh, yeah, you're going to need a power supply for inside the house and I didn't want to be uh, operating on marine or car batteries. So I got this MFJ 30 amp uh, power supply. I think that was like another $89. So uh, all in all, you're going to be about $230 for the radio. Uh, I think uh, maybe a hundred dollars, uh, give or take, uh, for the cable and lightning suppression and all that. And the antenna, I am thinking was sixty-nine or eighty-nine dollars. Not real sure, but an amazing setup. I highly recommend it. Uh, you can monitor, you know, all of your your NOAA weather uh, uh, channels as well. Uh, I, I, it, it's fun, but I'm telling you guys, don't think you're just going to buy one uh, off the radar, stick it in the closet, and when you, an SHTF arises, you're just going to pick it up and start communicating. It's not going to happen that way. There, you got to program these things. You got to learn the, you know, the, not the codes, the frequencies, uh, the offsets, um, you know, that, that you actually transmit on. Uh, they have PL tones, some of them, basically a code uh, that gives you access uh, to the, the repeater, uh, if that's what you're using. And if you're doing simplex, which is just radio to radio, uh, there's a learning curve there. So I highly recommend. It, it's a little bit of time investment, a little bit of money. And for most of you guys that are spending, you know, $1,500 on rifles and, and thousands of dollars on generators and solar and all kinds of things, this is... This, this is chump change uh, compared to some of the other things we, we do. Uh, listen, it's the, again, it's the ASU FT2900R. Uh, there's no link. I don't profit off of this at all. Just good information. Uh, check out the Ham Radio Outlet, their largest volume dealer from what I understand. Uh, this is the only stuff I bought from them, uh, but it's amazing. The price was great. And, uh, uh, you know, very helpful guys listen we don't know what's coming our way if the uh crap is going to hit the fan when it's going to hit the fan but come what may guys get ready be safe please like this video and subscribe i appreciate it thanks god bless